We are seeing current numbers and future projections worse than what we saw in the spring. We're more practiced at responding to this virus now, so we have significant stockpiles of PPE. We have overflow capacity that's already planned by our hospitals, and we have much more testing available. But that won't slow the spread of the virus. Since the stay-at-home order ended in May, we've allowed local governments to make decisions about whether they needed tougher mitigations and enforcement, and we've only imposed certain select mitigations at the state level on a regional basis. Those tools worked where people acted responsibly in local communities. But with many community leaders choosing not to listen to the doctors, we are left with not many tools left in our toolbox to fight this. The numbers don't lie. If things don't take a turn in the coming days, we will quickly reach the point when some form of a mandatory stay-at-home order is all that will be left. With every fiber of my being, I do not want us to get there. But right now, that seems like where we are heading. If you're sitting at home and wondering what you can do to help prevent this and to stop the spread, well, wear your mask when you're out and stay home if you can. And while you're home, give your county board chair or your local mayor a call. Ask them what they're doing to enforce the doctor-recommended mitigations. Ask them what they're doing to keep you and your loved ones safe.